present Trivia Test Match. It's questions of trivia, it's the laws of cricket, and its umpire is Brian Johnston. Thank you. Thank you very much, and welcome to another in our series of one-day matches in which two teams try to find answers which are trivial or of even less importance than the news of the world headline. <laughs> and we're continuing our world tour 1991, and today our Skoda has been towed back to Seven Oaks Vine Cricket Club in Kent, and we're looking out from the lovely white pavilion out onto the ground, and behind the side screen I can see an oak still standing. It's the only one. There were seven. Six were blown down in the gale in 1987, and seven more have been planted. And the interesting thing is, well, if they grow, they're going to change the name to Eight Oaks. And so, <laughs> anyhow, it's one of the oldest cricket clubs in the country, 1734, the first match, so there we are. And we're very glad to be here, and we've got our two team captains. And the first is the man who is best known as the pin-up of the Sturridon set, Willie Rushton. <laughs> <laughs> Joined, joined tonight by one of Britain's finest actors. My wife actually saw him in My Fair Lady in Sydney, Australia in 1950-something and said he was fine, which is um, <laughs> praise indeed in our house. Currently, <laughs> currently playing Stanislavski at the National, but race girls will know that. Um, <laughs> Robin Bailey. And the opposition is captained by a man who drives fast cars, lives in a nice house and doesn't have to worry about the mortgage. No, he's not a plumber. It's Tim Rice. And my vice-captain tonight is a distinguished comedian and after-dinner speaker. So if you're after a sparkling half-hour of wit, you've come to the right place. You've come at the wrong time, but you've come <laughs> to the right place. Yes, it's Bob the Cat Bevan. Mm -hmm. The rules are roughly based on the laws of cricket with questions worth one or four runs with up to six questions per round or over, as we call it. And the rest of the rules are designed to confuse everyone completely, especially myself. Anyhow, you'll understand them, I hope, as we go along. Tim Seymour won the toss by correctly predicting the next company chairman to give himself a £100,000 rise. <laughs> and so his side opens the batting. Tim, what's your first question to be, a one or a four? A one. What was unusual? Oh, no, that's a four. I'm sorry. <laughs> Took it from the wrong How part. <laughs> <laughs> it was unusual. You made a mistake, Brian. I, 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 the umpires never make <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> How old was Billy the Kid when he died? 21. Absolutely right. How do you know? I was there. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you've taken a quick signal. He was a lovely goat. <laughs> um, <laughs> another one. What is an orrery? O-double-R-E-R-Y. Uh, an orrery. 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 Good job Roy Jenkins is not in this programme. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wooden thing on a pole <coughs> in which feathered... <laughs> the answer is a working model of the planets and their motions, which sounds filthy, really? but anyhow, that's it, what it says. <laughs> Uh, working model and another that. one. Yeah, so we'll try and get a single. Which breed of dog was Rin Tin Tin? Shepherd. Shepherd. Shepherd and a German Shepherd, I'll say. Oh, you yes. were no. uh, uh, A Thank scramble you. single. A four, a four. A four. I'll a four, keep out of right. it. What was unusual about Ethelred the Unready's wedding night? <laughs> <laughs> His wife didn't turn up. She did. His first wife turned up. No. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get it. There's no appeal coming from Willie. So the answer was he was found in bed with his wife and his mother-in-law. Very strange. Who by? Uh, that's not <laughs> the chambermaid. Where was the chambermaid? Another four. Stoke on Trent. That's it. What for? <laughs> According to a survey in the Sunday Times, what what feature do men find sexiest in men? In men. In men. I don't think it'll apply to any of the panel. But um, <laughs> uh, do, mean, I, do I say do? So, I, I'll read that again. I, I <laughs> well, no, we have an expert on that I, subject I, here. I'm going to read that again. All oh, right. According to a survey in the Sunday Times, what feature do women find? <laughs> do women find sexiest in men? Oh, the bottom. No, the what? bottom. Yeah, what, the what sort? Of, what sort? 
um, Titan. Well, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the rear quarters. Yes, well, you've got that, no, but... Um, small. Small, that's right. Yes. It didn't apply to any of the panel, but you get four runs. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, six, six for no wicket you are at the moment. Another single. Right. Which Apollo mission first landed a man on the moon? Give, give me the number. Eleven. Absolutely right. One run. Well taken. It's over. And after the first over, Tim and Bob Bevan are seven for no wicket. Yep. Willie, you've now got the batting. Oh, one, please. What was the first St. Trinian's film called? I, although I was Bells nervous. of St. Trinian's? The Bells of St. Trinian's is right. Yes, no, one run. Somewhere. Well run, Willie. Another one, please. What Funny. did George Bernard Shaw describe as an extreme form of censorship? Having, a play, t- having a play turned down by Minky Beaumont. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no appeal coming? Right, the answer is assassination. He said it, I didn't. Mm. So there we are. Another one, then, please. Whom do Germans know as Der Bingle? Oh, Crosby. Crosby, yeah, yeah, Crosby, yeah, they yeah. do. Well, one run, well run. Oh, we'll try four now, because we're feeling cocky. In Melbourne, in 1907, Not a shop longer. assistant was jailed for kissing a customer on the cheek. What happened ten years later? <laughs> <laughs> the Russian Revolution. 1917, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was a girl who kissed Prince Charles, presumably. I'm afraid not. Kissed the other cheek. And later married him. Uh, we don't know the, the sex of the shop assistant, in fact, but the answer was the assistant was left £20,000 in the woman's will. He was the only man who had ever kissed her. So she left him to... Ah. So no, there no, we are, no, no runs there? No, Sorry, no, story. no, no runs, runs, but are there any offers tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Another four, please. Another four. Sir Isaac Newton only made one recorded speech in Parliament. On what subject did he make the speech? I Fruit. No, no yeah, fruit. Been, um... <laughs> well, I should have to give it to you. I don't think there's no appeal coming up. He asked for a window to be opened. That's the only thing he ever said in the House of Commons. <laughs> he felt very hot at the time. That sounds a lot more used than most of them there now. <laughs> Another four. Another four. What was odd about the coffin in which Nelson was buried? He was brought back to Gibraltar, yes. pickled in rum... That's and right. because of his seniority, they changed the rum to brandy to bring him home. All that is very interesting. It's right, I know, but it's not... Uh, well, it's nothing to do with the coffin. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an absolute fact. It was the first coffin ever to be done for drunken driving. <laughs> 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 I, sh- I shall give Willie a leg by for that. The, the answer was, it was originally intended for Cardinal Wolsey. So it's the same coffin. I don't know where it came from, but anyhow, it was some years after. What did they do with Cardinal Wolsey? <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of the over, and uh, Willie, you're now three for naught, and Tim is seven for naught. So, Tim, we've got the batting. What do you want? A quiet one. What was the first frozen food? What was the first frozen food? Probably a bird's eye, I would think. Yeah, but what was it? I mean, <laughs> a bird. Which uh, 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 one of those? Mammoth balls? N- mammoth balls? <laughs> <laughs> Had they been frozen? I've never, I've never seen a frozen mammoth ball. <laughs> well, not, not normally that cold. But, um, <laughs> there are a lot this week at Tesco's, I think. <laughs> No, you can't, you can't get it. Fish, must be fish. It, it, appealed. Say fish. it was asparagus of all things. Too, yeah, no. ah. So there you are. No run. Go for a four. Why not? Why not? Which Victorian Prime Minister had the biggest beard? Oh, how's that? Well, I'll give it to you in a second. Right. Give him a chance yeah, to get the ball. Just right. rating. No, I'll take Lord the Lord Salisbury, I would have thought. Lord Salisbury yeah. is right. So well, on that appeal, you see, Willie, you get four runs. I and know so my Tim is the wicket. And, um, I... You get the batting, Willie. So Tim is seven for one and Willie is Sorry, seven Tim. for naught. And what do you want, Willie? Any more bearded questions? It's my, it's my only area, really. <laughs> I'm pretty strong on beards. Not pop music, football, dates. Uh, one, please. <laughs> what was the 1960s soap opera Compact about? 
Oh, it's about a magazine. It's yes, about sorry. a magazine, a new, or um, and, um, yes, a, a magazine. Yeah. 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 Any yes. particular sort of magazine? It's loosely based on Private Eye. I think we used to live very like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give it to you. It's a woman's, woman's magazine, magazine, but yes. um, yes. I expect it was. More We'd like more. to bowl a bouncer, please. Ah, oh. uh, but now we just explain about the bouncers that um, if the batting team get this wrong, the play goes back to Tim. But otherwise, if you hit a six like you've done previously, will you? You, um, you get it right, you get a six. So this week the bouncers take the form of alternative world records. Yes, well, uh, this question is, what is the world record for the 800 metres pantomime cow steeplechase? <laughs> <laughs> and, and we'd like the answer uh, to the nearest 30 seconds. What do these sort of people normally run? Eight? I mean, take me a taxi ride, about five hours. <laughs> <laughs> 800 metres, that's sort of... Well, a couple of minutes. Have a go at the bouncer, then. Let's, have, let's say um, 12 minutes, 45 seconds. No, no. <laughs> it's 4 minutes and 54 seconds. They were. Yeah, so you stunned. were right to start with. I was right to start with, doubling up, yes. Very fast they were. Yeah. Well, we'll go for a 4 now, please. What is the Hall of Arts and Science now known as? The Hall of, of Arts and Science. What is it Na- known National as? History Museum? Is it the Victorian Albert? Yeah. No, you didn't appeal. I didn't, know. Did you want to appeal? I Victorian Albert. No. Have you appealed? I just did before that. Oh, yes. you did, right, but you've got it wrong. The answer, yeah. is, <laughs> the answer is the Royal Albert Hall. So, yeah. Tim, you get four runs. Quite and, right. And, oh, well, you've done and well. another four. I think we've got a bow one, a bouncer. I think we are unleash it. Right, a bouncer. The Each side can have three. The tones of Mr Robin Bailey will now mm. thrill the nation. <laughs> what is the world depth record for a brass band playing underground? <laughs> <laughs> to the foot. Actually, actually I think that's the and best it place. Wasn't, to... It wasn't on the northern line. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the best place to hear them, personally, but still. Um, what what margin of... Uh, yes, you've got to give uh, a, yes. Well, to within 250 feet. That's a very generous 250 margin. 250 feet? Yes, I'd make them foot. Well, over a mile? Yes. yes. you better say you're the captain. Aren't mile and a quarter. That's how many feet, do you reckon? How many feet? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not what the that's, question was. Uh, about 7,000 feet, 6,000 feet. No, it's a mere 3,000 feet. And the brass band concerned was the Caledonia Brass Band at a Doncaster Colliery. No, oh, bad luck. Well, a very good bouncer, so you, you get the, the batting, really. Just a one, please. Which is ombrophobia? Or what is ombrophobia, if you like? Fear of Which is shadows. Awesome. Does that come on with? Fear, a fear of shade, a fear of shadows, shadows. yes. A fear of shadows. Darkness. I can't the take light. that. Well, darkness. What? Any appeal? Fear yeah. of Hank Marvin? You haven't appealed, have you? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the answer is fear of rain. Oh, umbrella folk. Oh. Yeah. Another one, then. What were the names of the two camp characters in Round the Horn? Can you remember? How's that? Yeah, they, yeah they, we'll take the appeal. The cat Jules and Sandy. That's right, Jules yeah. and Sandy, oh, and, yeah. uh, and Julian and Sandy with their official yeah. names. We'll have a single. What does cum mean in Welsh? Cum. C W M. What's it mean? Cum. Into the garden, Maud. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I mean, how was that valley. then? How was that valley? A valley is right. Oh, so well done. You get your run just before they can appeal, right? And another one, please. What does the law prevent you from doing with a fish in Oklahoma? What can't you do to a fish? <laughs> <laughs> you... How many answers are there? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want the one you're thinking of. I want another one. <laughs> Grilling it in public or eating it in public, somewhere. Yeah. What did you say? It's the most extraordinary thing to want to do to a fish, this, I can tell you. Um, uh, and our hu- hospitality at the Vine, we might well have done it we... to a fish tonight. Getting it drunk. <laughs> Getting a fish drunk is uh, illegal in Oklahoma. Don't ask me why. In Oklahoma, the corn is as high as a halibut's eye, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hell of it be thy name, that's right. right. <laughs> How did the Germans intend to destroy England's potato crop during the Second World War? They were going to let Colorado beetle loose in our fair country. Right. Uh, they were going to drop bombs full of Colorado beetles. <laughs> <laughs> Most extraordinary thing, four runs. So you've slipped up now to 15 for two, doing well. And another four. It's one run per beetle. Which then. country? <laughs> Which country has had the greatest number of coo? C O U P S. Coops. Pigeons, are we talking about? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Mexico. 
No appeal. The answer is Bolivia. They've had 189 oh. since independence from Spain. It's quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of coups. We'll have another four. Who is the first world darts champion? Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 I hardly know Eric Bristow. A very difficult one. Uh, uh, I don't, uh, I've never heard this chap. Leighton Rees. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. 1978. Yeah. Apologies yeah. to Mr. Rees, I hadn't heard of Leighton a cum. Right, so that's the end of the over. Um, Late on the off. Tim and Bob are 15 for two, and now uh, William and Robin, eight for two. So, oh. what, no, do you, what do you do that? we better that, perk up. One, please. Oh, I see. What gets us started? What was odd about a dummy used as an exhibit in Long Beach Amusement Park in 1976. He went on to become president in... (laughs) (laughs) I I shall shall give you... my lips! (laughs) I shall give you a leg by for that. uh, I don't know if you get the other run. The answer was, it was later discovered to be a corpse, which is very jolly, isn't it? (laughs) But I prefer your answer. Right, you get a run. Another one, please. In the 18th century, what percentage of people who were hanged were under 20 years old? And this is in the 18th century. A lot of people were just hung. think of a percentage, Robin, and just... 70. No, I'm not having an appeal from the left. The 45. answer was... Hmm? 90%. Can you believe it? All under 20. Dreadful. Oh, right. Um, another one, please. Which animal can leap the highest... Please don't come out. Is that for their own weight? I mean, is that... No, they uh, leap the highest. Which leaps the I mean, highest. if you ha- put them all together, this one would leap higher than You'd see that and say, my animals. word, there's an Akapi or whatever. How's that? I'll take an appeal. Man. Man? Man. No. The whale. A whale can jump <clears throat> up to 20 <clears throat> feet. Isn't that interesting? No. <laughs> so your... <laughs> your, your appeal was wrong, so uh, Willie gets two leg buys and he gets the batting. Uh, a four, then. We'll go for a, a four. A four, right. Which part of his body did Charlie Chaplin ensure? His feet. Is right. Well done. You've oh, got another four. four, then. While Robin's Why in not? this mood. <laughs> <laughs> what is the drink posset made from? Oh, cloves. Or cloves, yes. Yeah, spices. Yeah, no, not cloves. It's... Honey? No, I don't think I can give it to you, because it, it's hot spice milk. Curdles with well, wine or ale. Yeah, 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 I don't, I don't think that's very. Yeah, the ball didn't get to the boundary. Yeah, you'd leave the out the milk, wouldn't you? I, mean, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm drinking four, some. Four, please. Here, what was unusual about the rerun of the Olympic 400 metres final in 1908? It was the first slow motion rerun. <laughs> <laughs> or they went in the other direction. It was very strange, the whole thing. The result was a total reverse order of the first one. No? Any appeal? The answer was only one competitor took part, the others all refused. So that he, <laughs> he won. And that's over with Willie and Robin now 15 for two, and believe it or not, Tim and Bob are 15 for two. So what are you ah, going for, Tim? Just a single. Just a single. Which international weekkeeper and international striker shared the same name? Christian uh, name and surname. Rodney Marsh. Rodney Marsh, that's oh, right. Well, ah, ah. well, that was a, a very well taken single. He was, uh, he was more of a midfield player, really, that's what's for us. Well, was he really? Yes. Yeah. Well, I saw him yes. striking once or twice. Did you? Yes. Right. A striking player. Take a single, for... another single. In Venezuela, why do lovers use pink envelopes? Because <laughs> they haven't got any white ones, I <laughs> <laughs> It's a most um, extraordinary thing, but it's an interesting fact. Know, it? It goes with their eyes. Because they're then charged half the usual postage. So let's all go out and buy pink envelopes, see what happens tomorrow. (laughs) Right. We'll try another single. Who was the first peer to disclaim his title under the 1963 Peerage Act? It was Wedgwood Ben, wasn't it? It was Wedgwood Ben. One run, an easy single that. You're up to 17 for two. I still think of him as Viscount Stansgate. I particularly would irritate him. It's good, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) A four now, please. When was handling the ball outlawed in football, when plus I, or minus 20? When I started playing in goal, I think. Cat <laughs> <laughs> um, Bevan, the great goalkeeper. Uh, uh, I would say 18, uh, 1895. No, 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 it must no, be in that. Well, not early in that. 18, 1860. Uh, no. Which is your final answer? 1860. 
You're within three of it. 1863, so you get four wow. runs. Miraculous. Wow. And the uh, bouncer is coming up. The bouncer's oh. coming up with Tim and Bob on 21 for two right. and um, Willie and Robin off 15 for two. Right, bouncer time. The question is, <laughs> what is the world record for eating 500 peas, not necessarily frozen, with a cocktail stick? <laughs> <laughs> to within one minute. <laughs> 500 peas <laughs> with a cocktail stick. Sing. One person doing it. One, yes, presumably. Um, one appeared at a time. And with one stick. Presumably only one, one cocktail stick. stick. Right. Mm. Okay. Can you pierce more than one pea on the stick at any one go? <laughs> I would think so. I would think no, you would I would have to. 12 minutes, 8 seconds. No, I'm afraid mm. you're beyond the minute. It is 10 minutes, 35.22. Oh, it, all right, but I'm afraid you lose a wicket, Tim, and um, Willie's got the, the batting. Uh, uh, one, please. Why did Louis XIV order table knives to be rounded rather than pointed? Preventing people committing harikari at the table, which is That's right. So it is quarrelsome dinner guests couldn't stab each yes. other. Yes. You Bernard, get a Shaw, Bernard Shaw had written to him about assassination. <laughs> <laughs> Another one, please. Why were women not permitted to watch the original L Olympic Games? They well, weren't the thighs, I imagine, of these uh, men. In, well, they wouldn't see thighs, shorts in those days. Knees, I think, probably. Was Not there. just knees, they ran naked. Absolutely right. Were you there? I saw the film of the oh. 30s Olympics. And the noise as they ran the 100 yards? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> um. <laughs> Willie? That last noise is probably quite similar. <laughs> 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 the, the start of the walk. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they sat on the podium. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the score then? You're 18 for two and um, Tim is um, 21 for three, so you're very close still. All right, you have one then, please. When was the first long playing record sold in the United Kingdom? 50, 56. How's that? I'll take an appeal. 1950. 1950 is absolutely right. So you get a run, Willie loses He's the wicket, you've got the batting. Right. Right, 22 for three, and Willie's just, 18 for three. Just a single, please. What was a sloppy Joe? How it? was it? It was a shirt, I think, or oh. a jacket. How was it again? Yeah, I'll take the appeal. It was a wind cheater. What was it made of? Oh, I, I think that comes into it. I thought... I thought, I thought. <laughs> I no, I, it, it isn't what I've got on the thing. I shan't allow the In appeal. Australia, they refer to the wind cheater as a sloppy joke. Mm, it, it's an oversized pullover made of mohair, and that doesn't nah, cheat the wind. Nah, nah, that's not no, I shan't nice. give the appeal there. So that a Just another couple single. of leg bites to you, Tim. Very another good single. Very good umpire. What is the difference between lamb and mutton? Now, mutton is older than lamb. Yes. But, that all right, right, what is the difference in them? Well, a mutton About, is a About uh, 50 a pound, I think. <laughs> 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 mutton is a dead sheep. And so is lamb. <laughs> <laughs> they are eventually... How is that? When lamb is a, is, yeah, is, a, is a dead young sheep. You're, you're, you're calling very badly. I, How is that? I'll take the appeal. Mutton is a uh, sheep which is two years old, at least. It is 12 months older. 12 Once you're 12 months. months older, you become mutton mm. and you're no longer a lamb. So you don't get a run there. And, and another uh, one. The, what was the film called that was adopted from Noel Card's play Still Life? How was that? <laughs> Do you want to leave the room, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you just would. got back. <laughs> <laughs> No idea, sorry. All right, I'll take the Brief appeal. encounter. Brief encounter. So you get the mark and uh, the run, rather, and um, Tim loses another wicket. He's 26 for four. You are 19 for three. And I tell you what, we're coming up now to the last over, and you have the batting. Oh, one bounce away. Well, you're seven runs behind. Yes. I think we better... Well, we have a one to start with. Only four, four. We go for four. How many types of flea are there in the we'll United go for Kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> Plus or minus five. What's that? Forty. You're very close, but not quite within the margin. Ah. The answer is forty-seven. Ah. 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 You, you hear that vote of Five bread. balls to go. <laughs> Another four. Who narrates the television series of Thomas the Tank Engine? 
Oh, Ringo Starr. I did the LP, incidentally. All those, this, <laughs> a far, a far <laughs> better record in my like, uh, uh, Ringo <laughs> Starr, yes. We'd like to bowl Thomas a bouncer, Thomas the Tank please. Engine, so you get four runs there, 23 for three, and there's a challenge. A bouncer. A bouncer coming up. What is the world distance record for throwing and catching a nappy soaked in blancmange? <laughs> <laughs> I.e. throwing the nappy from one person to another. Throwing it one person to another. We'll, we'll give it to you within five feet. I, I think I'd go with that. A hundred yes. feet. It would be a burly person who would undertake this disgusting task. <laughs> <coughs> well, stand well out of the way. Um, <laughs> a, a hundred feet. I'm sorry. 35 feet, four inches. That's all. What a pathetic well, attempt. It was a very bad day. <laughs> we would like to unleash a bouncer. Oh, oh another rat. bouncer. Yes. What is the world endurance record? for playing the organ with the nose. <laughs> I tell you what, I bet I'd win it. <laughs> you wouldn't need an organ. <laughs> length of time? Or? Plus or minus 30 minutes, yes. It's a world endurance record. World endurance record. He, he was at the organ for a good length of time playing it with his nose. How long is the question? Nine hours. Bad luck. Six hours. Well, a very brave attempt. He didn't get the six, so that means you lose a wicket. And uh, with two balls to go, you are 26 for five, Tim, but Willie is 23 for four. Two balls to go, Willie. What are you uh, going to have? Well, I think, I think we might as well go for the four. We have, to, yeah, we'll, we'll have a four. What is the common name for the vegetable Brassica oloracea or oloracea? Cabbage. Cabbage is correct. You well get four done. runs. And that takes you one of... <laughs> We'd like to bowl a bouncer, please. It takes you one ahead, and with one ball to go, there's nope. a bouncer coming. And so here's the bouncer. Do is your this, worst. Is this the last ball? It's the last ball. And I guess we won't bowl it. No. All right, so we believe he's, he's, with, he's not going to bowl the bouncer after all. Just the umpires, the one, please. The umpires warned him, and you're taking a one. Just the one. What do the police call the magic roundabout? Well, they call, I suppose it's that amazing thing at Birmingham. The flyover is no, spaghetti it, junction. No, it isn't. <laughs> How's that? I'll take the appeal. Policeman's helmet. <laughs> it isn't. Do you know what they call it? The M25. I, oh. Oh. <laughs> I know people call it something worse than that, but still. <laughs> well, that's again a very close contest, but as I look out on the scoreboard there, I can just see it in the dimming light. It means that Tim and Bob have scored 26 for five, but Willie and Robin are 29 for four and are the victors. Well done. Well done. Well done. Once again, Willie, after squirting your bottle of champagne, would you like to say a few words to the crowd? Uh, I, I think we owe it all to astute vice captaincy. Um, I think he's the most astute vice captain since Dan Quayle. <laughs> <laughs> Damning him with faint praise. Anyhow, <laughs> and what about you, Tim? In defeat, you look quite cheerful. I think these, these short games aren't the real test. It's the five-day matches that really matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, anyhow, it's been great fun and a very close game, and so we come to the end of another of these limited over matches, and taking a look at the stick, we've carved the notches. I've given you the score, haven't I? So I'm just going to say thanks to Bob Bevan and Robin Bailey. And so until the next time, Willie Rushton and Tim Rice dispute my decision. From me, Brian Johnson, all the team on Trivia Test Match, it's goodbye. <laughs> That was Trivia Test Match, umpired by Brian Johnston. Devised and written by Peter Hickey and Malcolm Williamson, the programme was produced by Jo Magnusson. And there's more Trivia Test Match next week when Stephen Fry joins the teams.